Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Vincelini. Um, in this video I'm sharing this little junk journal that I'm working on that is going to be for a swap in one of my Facebook groups. Um, I don't think um, the person that I'm going to send it to will watch this because I'm not going to post it on that group. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you do watch it, then I hope you like it. <laughs> um, so this is a little junk journal that is made out of uh, all junk mail envelopes. Uh, the cover is a larger envelope, um, which, you know, I just covered and I cut the ends off. I covered it in this. Actually, you can see through the fabric there some of the writing on the envelope. But um, this was a um, piece of sample fabric that um, I had. I put a little bit of lace there, okay. I did cover it with some scrapbooking paper on the inside. I just really liked this, uh, this scrapbooking paper. Um, then what I did is I put the envelopes in kind of staggered, some near the bottom and some near the top, because they're the thinner envelopes. So, but I'll show you as I go along. This is just a piece of map. And some envelopes I cut either the side or the top so that it would be a pocket, not all of them. Yeah, so this one is a pocket here, but I haven't put anything in there yet. And this is just a piece of atlas. Um, I played with some stamps, and it is kind of messy, so I hope that my swap partner is into messy. Um, otherwise, you know, you can always tape, I mean, glue or uh, cover this with paper or whatever you want, you know. Um, I did use this. This is actually some Mary Anglebright um, scrapbooking paper that I had a little tiny pad of. And I tried distressing the edges, but again, I'm new, new, pretty new to doing this, so I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't look as uh, neat as I would like it to. But then again, it's a junk journal, so I thought, well, maybe it's good that it's messy. <laughs> so I don't know. Please tell me what you think. Um, so this is the back of the or one side of the envelope. Obviously, this is one of the window envelopes. I just put some washi tape in here. And inside, I put uh, this piece of... Does anybody recognize what this is? It is from a Kleenex box. And I just backed it onto some uh, vintage... Well, I don't know how vintage it is, but it was naturally aged um, graph paper. So I just put that in, in that pocket. And I have one hand, so I'll, I'll put it back later. I haven't done anything to this page other than stamp on it. Um, I wanted to cover that envelope part, um, but I kind of like the stamping. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I might just leave it alone or maybe put a little washi over that. I'm not sure. Um, I guess I stamped before I really thought it through. Um, so there's that envelope. I haven't done anything to it here yet. Um, I'll probably cover that with some scrapbooking paper or matte paper or music paper or whatever I come across. This I uh, cut with an edger, uh, an edge punch that I have. So it did open up the envelope here. So I'll need to put something in here. I haven't decided what yet. I probably won't do much to the page here because I just added this cute little... I guess it's like a mini cluster. It's just a little piece of lace that was kind of a snippet, a heart punch, and a little gem. And again, some of the ink that I was inking with. See, my fingers are have glue and uh, ink all over them, which is probably... <laughs> I should probably wash them before I do anything else, but uh, anyway, here we go. <laughs> okay, that page I kind of um, like plain. However, now that I look closer to it, I add it, it does have some of that um, roughness from the um, envelope, I guess, that the, where it was opened and glued back together. So I will probably glue something over that or some washi or something. I haven't done anything to this part of the envelope yet. This, I glued some map, and it looks like the... I think I just used glue stick, so I might have to run some uh, fabric tech on the uh, seam part of it. Um, and I didn't even put it all the way to the end because I wanted, I think, to add some either lace or washi to that. Again, this is in progress. I'm not done yet, so i got to do something to that page. Here is a piece of map that I put here. And again, all my, you know, 
edges here I'm gonna need to go back and um, maybe use fabric tack because I think I used just glue stick on there but this is a pocket right here because the envelope was too long this way so I just folded it over and glued it and so I'll be able to put something else in there here is a little uh, flag paper clip this is one of the first few that I've made. Um, I just, you know, again, like I said, I'm pretty new. I haven't done a lot. Um, but I used this paper clip to just attach this piece of note paper to this part of the envelope, which I haven't done anything to. So I don't know. I might just leave it like that for my, uh, for the recipient to, you know, do whatever she wants to with it. Um, let me know if you think that's a cop-out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, you know, I could definitely cover it more permanently. I haven't done anything to this envelope yet, but it was a progressive tried to sell us their insurance. <laughs> but I kind of liked the little picture there. Um, and I don't know if I'll do anything here. This, again, I'm going to glue so that this will be a pocket. And I'll probably cut the top so I could you know stick something that'll show through there this I had actually written on I'm gonna cover that with paper and I believe it is already cut to be a pocket on this side yep so it's open there I haven't done anything to this yet again this was folded over on this side to create a pocket here but then I cut um, a little piece of note paper I think this was a pad from like a medicine company or something and um, which I used elsewhere. This is a little piece of it. I just put it here for some journaling or what have you. This is just washi tape. That's washi tape. And on this side is the, the window envelope part. And in here, I just threw in a piece of dictionary page and some die cuts of leaves, of fall leaves that I am not die cuts these are punches I bought this punch at Joanne's not too long ago and I just took some paper that I thought was pretty and punched some leaves out and I'm including those in there um, and I'll put those back later here some washi washi this is and this is that other piece of that uh, medical see it's some sort of medicine notebook notepad so I just took a piece of it and folded it in half just so that it'll fit in here. And that little, other little strip is what I glued to the other to the other part. Okay, I'll have to put that back in. I have one hand. I don't know why I didn't set up my tripod. I'm not feeling well today, so I'm not thinking all that straight. Um, that's just a little sticker. Some more washi. You can see the little window part sticking out here. This was another piece of note paper, a little notepad. And this envelope is open on this side. And here's another tissue paper box. This looked like the water drops. I think it's really cool. And I just backed it with the um, graph paper. This, is an, this was another pad. I've got a whole bunch of these little pad sheets of pad paper from either like, I think this was from St. Jude. It had St. Jude um, up on top and I just cut that part off and kept the little grass at the bottom. And this is a pocket on the top, which I don't have anything in right now. On the back is a piece of dictionary page. And this is the back cover. And the back cover, what I did is I glued an envelope, just a long envelope, I guess a number 10 or so, this way. And it's closed. You know, it, I guess I could have opened it here to have an extra pocket, but I didn't. I just closed it. Ooh, I guess I could still do that. I could just snip it through, and then that could be an extra pocket there. I might do that. But this part is map, and then uh, I just glued it on three sides, so there's a pocket here. And then I glued the envelope to the back cover on three sides, so it's a pocket. And then I just edged this pretty piece of scrapbooking paper that was left over from another project. And I just love it because of the gold there. And I just stuck it back there. Let's oh, take it out again. Okay. And then here I just put another piece of dictionary page all along. And that's it.
that's it and that's the back I did not leave this one open um, for another pocket like I did in the front I just I figured this back here was enough so that is the back um, originally I had tied um, a rubber band to this those colorful Dollar Tree rubber bands are actually very sturdy and I had put it around here but then I didn't once I put the lace I didn't like how it kind of um, you know I, I just didn't like how it looked so I'm gonna need to think of another closure I might either tie a piece of lace to this or maybe have it tie this way somehow with a band I haven't decided yet as you can see it's still very much a work in progress but I just wanted to share what I had done so far and actually get some input from you guys. Tell me, you know, is it looking like a really sloppy job or does that add to the charm? I don't know. <laughs> this is my very first swap ever, so I hope I don't totally bomb it. But it's supposed to be not, nothing really big, just, you know, anything really. Um, uh, with the theme and the theme is just leaves as long as there's a leaf in it it could be anything so I thought that um, you know it was nice to just do something simple all right um, and then it's turning out to be not as simple <laughs> as I thought so um, I'd really appreciate your input if you have um, some suggestions for me or comments or whatever really appreciate it if you just happened up on my video and are not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe um, and leave me a comment and let me know you've joined me. Okay, well, thank you once again for joining me and I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.